soloing concept I'm going to break down two little transition points that I think it'll really help those people that are trying to play up and down the neck you know it comes from that uh, minor pentatonic extended scale and so what you could do is get your ring finger on the root and then you have a little box right below that main position so it would be the six to the eight six to the eight on the A string, and then you'd slide with that finger, and now you're in your zone, your main pentatonic shape. You know, and all the stuff that goes with it, you could go all the way down like that, but now you could go. Uh, the sliding, there's a lot of new things that come out of knowing that little spot of the extension. Okay, but it also exists right here. You're in your home row, your main scale again. And you get to that 10th fret on the G string, and you have a whole step slide up there too. From the 10 to the 12 on the G string with your ring finger. Okay, now if you're going to keep going up the scale, you want to transition to your index finger onto the 11th. Now, it would naturally feel like it should be your middle finger, and we're going to do that too, but if you're just trying to go all the way up, you'd go index ring, index ring, slide, index ring, index ring, slide, index ring, index ring, slide. So for that whole thing, if you're just practicing it up and down, you're only using your pointer and your ring finger. And back down. 